Hey everyone, it's Cam from Cam How To. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to make your iPad kid friendly. Uh, one of the things I noticed uh, when I gave the iPad to my two-year-old, with a um, a passcode on the on the open screen, I thought that would that would deter him from getting into it. But it just it, once he got a hold of it, he just tried putting in the password the passcode so many times that it ended up disabling the iPad. And since I didn't have it backed up, I had to do a restore, which is a huge headache. So since then I found these settings um, really do make it kid friendly. I feel like I can hand it to my two year old and he's not going to ruin it or break anything or get in anything that he shouldn't. Uh, so for starters I, I turn off um, the passcode um, and I don't even use that at all. I just let him uh, from the lock screen just swipe right in. Uh, and then the next thing that I do, uh, I go into general here and then um, go into restrictions. And I turn restrictions on, and the restrictions uh, ask for a passcode uh, that you have to set in order to go in here and change the restri restrictions. Now I allow these things, and then I turn off uh, all the stores, uh, podcasts. I don't want them downloading uh, my podcasts and taking up all the all the uh, memory in here. Installing, deleting apps, in-app purchases. In-app purchases is the big one because a lot of the kids' games have in-app purchases and I don't want him um, making them or bringing up my iTunes logon and locking me out for invalid attempts. So with these settings, there won't be anything that comes up that allows them to even put in your passcode or password. Uh, so there's no way you'll get locked out. The next thing I like to do um, beyond that is going into accessibility and then uh, going into guided access. Um, you've probably seen this if you saw an iPad on display in a store. It locks you into a specific app. Uh, maybe it's a, a demo for the store or something like that. Uh, but this is a, a really cool for kids as well. Uh, what happens when you turn on guided access, you have a passcode for this. And then um, what happens is when you're in a specific app, um, let's say, um, let's just launch something here. Say I want to watch um, uh, PBS Kids. Now he likes the home button because that's the only button. Um, but if you want him or her to stay in this app, you can just hit the the home button three times, and that brings up guided access. And you can turn touch on or off, uh, so there could be no touch interaction whatsoever. And there's other options here: you know, disable volume. Um, Disable the keyboard, uh, all these all these different things in here. You can even do a time limit for the amount of time that they can they can be on in guided access. And this is really cool. So I like to have touch enabled so that you know he can he can move throughout the app, and then I disable the home button because he's going to hit the home button um, and and get out of it. So what you do is you go to start, and then um, I'm able to I'm able to touch everything in here, but the home button is now disabled. So there's no going back to the home screen. So he is locked in uh, to this app until you come over here and hit the home button three times. And then you'll have to enter the passcode that you set up for the guided access. And then you can, oops, then you can go to end here and end it. Uh, now that the guided access is ended, um, I can now go to the home screen and, uh, and use it like normal. Um, but again, since we turned on the uh, restrictions, uh, you can see that the App Store doesn't even show up. The iTunes Store doesn't even show up. Uh, none of that is, is even here. So that's, uh, um, that's pretty cool. If you guys have any, anything to add or any suggestions to make it better, I'd love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks for watching.